Hello everybody, Rebecca Sanchez here. This is Storytime with PeopleSide. All right, so this month I'm really excited for multiple reasons, but the book is called The World Needs More Purple People, and it's written by Kristen Bell and Benjamin Hart, and it's illustrated by Daniel Wiseman. So I said that I'm really excited about reading this book. Look at the color, purple. Purple, people side, people, people side. Lots of different connections here. But as we get into the book, I'm just gonna read the intro flap and it says, the best things are purple. I'd agree with that. Purple stickers, purple bicycles, purple aliens. It's a magical color that brings other colors together. Okay, but what is a purple person? Great question. Purple people love to ask questions. I'm gonna pause there. So all of this is speaking to me right off the bat. One, when I was a little girl, purple was my favorite color. I went away from it for a really long time. And then when I started my company, I was thinking through the color palette and decided to go with purple. The name of my organization is called People Side. Talking about people here. And it says that purple people love to ask questions. And when I introduce myself, sometimes I'll say, my middle name is Curious, because I love to ask questions. All right, so they go on to say that they are kind and hardworking and they laugh a lot, especially at grandpa's funny noises. A purple person is an everyday superhero. How do you become one? That's the fun part. Penny purple, penny purple, will lead you through the steps. So Kristen Bell and Benjamin Hart have created a hilarious and joyful read aloud for a new generation about embracing the things that bring us together as humans. Get inspired to be curious, be silly, be you, and paint the world purple. So let's read the book. The book is called The World Needs More Purple People. The world needs more purple people. Ta-da! Follow my guide to become a purple person. How to become a purple person. Now you may be asking yourself, why in the whole wide world would I want to be purple? Purple is a magic color made when red and blue work together. I think all the best things in the world are purple. But you're probably wondering, what does this have to do with people? Wow, are you a genius? Because you're already on your way to becoming a purple person. You wanna know why? Step one, and if you know me, you know that I love process. So, <laughs> step one, ask, really great questions. My dad says purple people ask great questions. Questions about everything. Even questions about questions. Hey dad, how far away is outer space? Have you ever met a dolphin? How many dolphins live in outer space? Purple questions are the kind that help you learn something really big about the world or something really small about another person. Hey, how tall is the world's tallest rainbow? What's your bear's name? Charlie. Dad says the more purple questions you ask, the more purple you become. So as they're looking out at the sky in star-shaped dolphins, the dad goes, how many do you think there are? He also says, I can only ask him 20 questions about space dolphins per day. I like that. I have a friend that allows me a couple of questions each time we get together. So step two, laugh a lot. My grandma says purple people laugh a lot. We're always laughing together. I mean like snot out of our nose laughing. 
been a long time since I've snot out of my nose laughed, but I, I understand. <laughs> I understand. We laugh at books. We laugh at jokes. How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. We laugh at donkey dances and hairy elephant knees. And we especially laugh at grandpa's funny noises. Purple laughing helps us remember the little things we share and forget what we thought made us different. And it's almost impossible to be angry when you are laughing. Try it. I dare you. Grandma says the more purple laughing you do, the more purple you become. She also says grandpa's noises are her favorite funny noise in the whole wide world. All right, step number three, use your voice and don't lose your voice. My mom says purple people use their voice and don't lose their voice. She encourages me to use my voice to sing. My dad is the one with the hairy chest who loves me more than all the rest. And to give good ideas. Let's wear monster costumes to school. And to share my opinions. I personally feel like we shouldn't have to eat Brussels sprouts because they smell like sweaty socks. <laughs> Sometimes people lose their voice, and that's okay. It happens. A purple voice helps someone who is having trouble finding their own voice. Purple people don't just speak up. They also listen. Maybe you could tell them you don't like it when they call you that name. Want me to help you to tell them? Mom says the more you use a purple voice, the more purple you become. Mom, can you help me with my play? She also says she heard my opinion on Brussels sprouts, but I still have to eat them. I'm going to work on a better argument. Step four, work hard, super duper hard. My grandpa says purple people know how to dig in and get stuff done. He and I like to work hard while we build things and while we learn things and while we grow things. Purple work is the kind of work that's done together to change something that needs changing. What do we want? More playgrounds! When do we want them? Now! Fix something that needs fixing or help someone who needs helping. Grandpa says the more purple work you do, the more purple you become. He also says no purple work has ever been done while sitting on your backside sipping strawberry lemonade. It's a very specific thing. Okay, are you ready for the last step? Are you ready? Are you sure? Are you sure you're sure? Are you really, really ready? Okay, drum roll please. Step five, paint yourself purple. Just kidding. That's not the way to become a purple person. Actually, being a purple person has nothing to do with what you look like. My teacher says purple people look all sorts of ways. They are big and small, old and young. Some wear cool coats, some wear shorts with a lot of pockets, and some wear funny hats. She says some purple people feel blue sometimes and red other times and some purple people even have green hair. Step five, just be the real you. Like my teacher always says, purple people come in every color you can dream of 
and every size you can think up. The only way to be purple is just be you because you're the only you we've got. So those are my surefire steps to turning into a purple purr. Hey, wait a minute. You gotta ask really great questions. You gotta laugh a lot. You use your voice all the time. You are a really hard worker and you are totally you. Well, I'll be a llama's mama. You've been beautifully purple this whole time. I'm sure glad you're a purple person because the world needs more purple people just like you. Aw. I really like this book. Thanks, Kristen Bell and Benjamin Hart. Ah, uh, it's really interesting. I, I find a lot of themes in weeks. And actually, right before the shoot, I had a conversation with an old colleague that I haven't spoken to in a long time. And our entire conversation was around authenticity and really connecting into who are you? What do you love? What are you passionate about? What do you get curious about? And when we are in that space, we're happier people. And I was sharing with her this idea, it's based in stress theory. And the idea talks about when we are in dis-ease, when our bodies are not in ease, when we are not feeling connected, and there's a psychology term that's called cognitive dissonance. So when we maybe feel a certain way or believe a certain thing, but our environment and where we are spending our time or where we're thinking about or what we're doing doesn't align up, we, we feel this friction. And that friction causes usually anxiety or depression or frustration or anger. And the more that we can truly show up as ourselves and do the work that we love and be curious about other people around us and learn that gift of lifelong learning, we put ourselves, our physiological selves, back into ease, alignment, homeostasis. And so, yay. I'm glad this book exists. I think it has an awesome message. It aligns very, very closely with what we do here at People Side, focusing on the people, ensuring that people have the space to show up as themselves, to, to get passionate about their work, to be curious and ask questions. So thank you. The world needs more purple people. <laughs>